Hello coders, welcome to Refresh Coding. My name is Madhulika and in this video we are going to discuss how we can create a Jenkins job for a Maven project which is uploaded on GitHub. So it is a kind of combination of Jenkins plus Maven plus GitHub. So what is the first requirement is Java and Jenkins should be installed in your system. So what you can do, you can just go to this official website of Jenkins and you can download Jenkins according to your operating system so for example i'm working with mac right now so i will just go for here mac os and it will give me some steps like brew install jenkins and services start and services restart if in case jenkins is already running and you can upgrade jenkins also if it is already installed so in in my system right now the jenkins is already installed so I will just simply uh, run the command view, uh, view services, uh, restart and uh, Jenkins. Actually the services are already start, but I'll just restart it. So it will first stop the service and then start it. Okay, one more important point, when you will install the Jenkins first time, it will give you some password for authentication for the first time jenkins usually runs on the port uh, 8080 you can see here it is running on localhost 8080 so once you are done with this step service start uh, after that you will open this localhost 8080 here it will ask you for some configuration password so when you will install it at that time only it will give you a password just copy paste that password and put it here so once your services start and it is up and running after that what you need to do is here what we will do we will create an item okay here right now if you can see i am getting all these options freestyle project maven project pipeline and multi configuration project and all these things so first time when you will work with jenkins what is the most important thing is you will have to load certain plugins because without plugins it, you will not be able to uh, configure the projects with uh, github and maven all those tools so what you will do you will just go to manage jenkins and plugins and uh, here uh, you can see all the available plugins it will show you and whatever plugin you want like the first important plugin here since we are going to work with the maven project so here you will uh, search for the maven plugin and you can see here maven release plugin and uh, maven info and all these things so you can just install this uh, plugins so it is already installed in my system so i will go if i will go for installed plugins and here i will search for maven you can see all these uh, plugins are there okay maven integration plugin pipeline maven integration plugin and all so once you will just uh, quickly search for it it will give you the plugins and uh, it will install the required plugin in your system uh, similarly you can search for git since we are going to combine uh, this project with git also so you will load the plugins for git as well okay so you will get the plugin for git github and all like if i see the installed plugin right now and if i search here git so you can see all these plugins are installed so git plugin git client plugin github api plugin github plugin and all those plugins so once you are done with all these setups after that you can go to a dashboard and you can create a new item so here we can give uh, this any name let's say this is our demo uh, project or you can say demo job so we will give it a name as demo uh, job after that here since we are going to deal with a maven project so we will select maven and then we will do okay after this here it will ask for certain configurations so we will do that so here in the descriptions uh, you can simply write this is a demo project and uh, after that right now we are not working with any jira site so we will leave it 
Uh, Docker also we are not combining here. So Docker also we will leave. What we are working with, we are working with a GitHub project. So we will select here. Now here we will have to give a project URL. Now GitHub, I assume you already know GitHub. If you don't know, uh, you can go to the channel and you can watch the GitHub videos. So here what I have done, I have just created one uh, repository as Jenkins Java code repo. I'll share the link of this repository in the description. And here in a folder, I have created a folder as Java repo one. And uh, here I have kept files, okay? So here no need to push the entire Java project on the GitHub, no need. Only you need two things. One is your SRC folder and second is your form.xml file. Form.xml file is required here because we are actually going to create a Jenkins jobs to build this project. And for building this project, it requires the form.xml file of Maven because we are going to integrate it with Maven. SRC is your normal SRC folder of a project. So this is basically a Java Spring Boot project. So I have taken this uh, SRC folder and uh, here inside main, I have my Java code, normal Java Spring Boot code. And what basically I'm going to do is I'm going to build this project using Jenkins and it will give me a jar file of this project. So right now, if you see here, we do not have any jar file. We just have a SRC folder and a pom.xml file. In pom.xml file, all the dependencies are specified, whatever uh, dependency we are using, what Java version we are using, and all these things are there. By taking help of this pom.xml file, it will create a jar file, which is a which we will be able to deploy using Jenkins. So what I will have to do, I will have to give this project URL in Jenkins. So till where I will give URL, I will give the URL till here, my repository name. So I will copy this and I will put it here. And uh, after this, uh, the project is parameterized no advanced no need to do anything right now uh, restrict where this project can be run also not required so we will leave it after this source code management very very important so we are using git so we will click here now here you can see one more repository url it is asking so here which repository url we will give we will go to here code and we will copy this HTTPS URL and this particular URL we will give here. After this, what we need to do, credentials you can select uh, either none or uh, you can select, I have created one credential for me so I can select that. And uh, after this, in the advanced options, uh, no need to do anything. Just let it be. And uh, branches, you have to be careful because here I'm working with a main branch. So I will give main. And uh, repository browser, let it be auto. Or if you want to work with a specific uh, browser, you can select. So I will keep it auto only. After that, Build trigger, build whenever a uh, snapshot dependency is built, that is fine. After that, build, we are not uh, working here with any built environment, so we will let it be. After that, pre-steps, there is no pre-steps involved. If, if you want to give any pre-step, like add a new temp template or build or publish Docker image or, or anything, any uh, pre-built step, you can select. Right now, I will come in the build part which is the most important thing and you can say since we have selected maven project so automatic it will take one pom.xml but here you will have to specify where in the github repository your pom.xml is there so if you remember we have given the project url only till here okay so our pom.xml is where our pom.xml is here inside this particular folder it is not directly outside 
in the repository. So what we will do, we will just copy this folder name and we will we will give this folder name here, okay, and slash. So this is where our pom.xml is. So first it will go till the project URL, then it will look for this folder, and inside this folder your pom.xml is there. After that, goals and options. So what I want to do here, here I will have to give my Maven uh, lifecycle uh, goals and options. So first thing I want to clean it. So and after that I will install. So clean install what it will do, it will create a jar file for me or you can do clean and package also, that is also fine. After that, post a step, run regardless of build result, whatever build result, but I want to run it. Here in the advanced part, you will have to be a little careful. Here you will have to select this Maven validation level uh, default and uh, the setting file in Py file system, no. We will go with use default Maven settings. And the global setting also, we will use default, default Maven global setting so that it will not give us any trouble. And uh, that's it. After that, we will post a step, run regardless. Build setting, email notification and all, I do not want to configure right now. So let it be. Post build actions, we can add uh, like if I want to create a Zira issue or if I want to build another project with this project or deploy, I want to deploy artifacts to artifact tree or whatever I want to do or I want to stop a Docker container, I can do all these things. But right now we are not doing any post build action, so we will not select it. So. Here, after doing all these things, what I will do, I will save it. So here, if you can see here, our Maven project, which is demo job. And this is a demo project. We will build it now. So we will say build now. And if you see here, it has started the build. we will wait for some time and now if you can see the build is successful here we are getting the green so if you see this entire console output okay this is a console output if you can see here what it is uh, going to do it is building aws code deploy demo this 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 uh, snapshot from pom.xml and jar file so it is going to create a jar file for us so here, if you go to the end of the project, here if you can see build success and what it has done, it has created a jar file for our project. Okay, in your system where it will uh, store that jar file, it will store in the dot m2 folder it will create by default and it will store this jar file there okay you can see snapshot jar that is in your system it will create a local copy of jar and it will store it here so you can see your status from here like this is what is status okay it has built uh, this job and if you want to see the test result that also you can see here see here this is our project Okay, and this is the only test file here. He actually no test cases are written. So that is why it is showing zero failures, one test and all those things. So if you have test cases in your file, you can see the test result also. After this, if you go back here, here you can see all the build uh, results. Okay, like uh, last build, last table build, successful build, completed build. And if you can see here, it will create a, a pipeline also. And if suppose I want to uh, build it once again, then I can build it once again also. So if you can see second time again, it is building the project. It will take some time 
and you can see build success once again so again it has built the project okay and you can see the status now so in the status also it will show you and if you see here it will give us this uh, pipeline and if you can see this last build you can see the last build also if you want to edit the build information you can edit it or else if you go here in demo job and suppose if you want to change anything so then you can configure it and you can change uh, anything in your configuration and just save it once again it will rebuild the project and it will apply those changes after that if you see here source code management so it will show that you are working with git again if you go here and suppose if you want to see the modules so you can see here aws code deploy demo it was actually our java project which source code i have used here and you can see here last successful artifact this is the snapshot jar which it has created for us and this is the pom which it has used for creating that particular jar so uh, that's it about uh, jenkins maven and github uh, collaboration in this video uh in the next video we will see how we can integrate jenkins with aws and how we can integrate jenkins with docker so all these things we will see in the upcoming videos uh, if you like the video like it and if you want me to create those videos please uh, put it in the comment and please subscribe to the channel thank you